Worldwide, infertility affects 60 to 80 million couples. In the U.S. alone, it strikes some 7.3 million people. This figure represents 12% of women of childbearing age. Approximately 44% of women with infertility have sought medical assistance. Of those who seek medical intervention, approximately 65% give birth. Infertility is the situation in which a couple is uh, looking for a pregnancy, is having intercourse without any protection, and after one year they have not achieved this pregnancy. The most frequent causes of infertility today are, in one hand, the male factor, the quality of the sperm, and on the other hand, female age. Uh, women are delaying motherhood because of uh, social reasons, and at the end of the day, these are the two main reasons for infertility. Today, Due to continual advancements in medicine, we are able to offer women new technologies that can aid in fertility and the ability to conceive. In vitro fertilization is a technique where we stimulate a woman's ovaries with medications so that we can get a lot of eggs, fertilize them, watch them develop in the lab, and find the ones that are most likely to make a pregnancy and put those back in the uterus and hopefully achieve a pregnancy. It's the most efficient fertility treatment that we have. While IVF can be a great treatment option, it's not always affordable. In the U.S., an IVF treatment costs an average of $10,000, not including medications. Prices outside the U.S. are cheaper, but still begin at about $5,000 per treatment. In addition, IVF does not result in a baby for every couple, and many patients may find it stressful to pursue an expensive treatment that seems like a roll of the dice. There are a number of risks that patients undertake going through in vitro fertilization, like hyperstimulation of the ovary from the medications, um, the, the complications of egg retrieval, which in general is pretty safe, but it's a surgery. There's bleeding, infection possibilities, fortunately rare anesthesia. There's miscarriage as an outcome or multiple pregnancy as an, as an outcome. And these are things that we try and minimize and maximize a good outcome, but these are the kind of risks that patients undertake going through in vitro fertilization, not to mention the psychological and traumatic risks of failure. What would be nice is if we could predict the patients who are going to be successful before they started, and that technology is evolving. You know, can we give you a personalized statistic, and that will help us make better decisions in treatment, and that's, that's where a lot of research is being focused right now. Unify, a company in Los Altos, California, has developed a series of tests that provide patients with extremely accurate and personalized predictions of fertility treatment success. Patients want to know exactly how likely they are to have a baby as a result of an IVF treatment, and Unify's tests can tell them. Fertility treatment is expensive and stressful, and going in armed with accurate information can help relieve stress and make decisions easier. Our company, Unify, is dedicated to developing prediction tests that are personalized to meet the decision needs of women and their partners as they navigate the infertility journey. Big data is becoming the new force in our field where using historical information and looking at different parameters that patients have, by taking those data points on an individual couple, we can better predict their success. Uh, and their expectations, and, and that's useful parameter. Currently, we generally use age as the only way of predicting success, um, and that has its limitations. When you include all data, uh, you can get a more refined result so that you can offer a patient a better set of expectations. Unify recognizes that each woman is unique with her own set of health and medical traits. Unify offers in vitro fertilization or IVF prediction tests that provide women with an accurate and personalized probability of having a baby with IVF based on her unique medical characteristics. The way the Unify IVF prediction tests work is that it takes in personal health uh, data from a woman and her partner and then analyze them against data from tens of thousands of women who have gone through that same decision point. It is based on a prediction model that was developed from an analysis of over 13,000 first IVF cycles from three leading IVF centers in the US, Canada, and Europe, spanning diverse geographies, economics, cultures, medical payment systems, and payment populations. Unify has developed three different kinds of IVF prediction tests, pre-IVF, predict IVF, and IVF single. 
The unified pre-IVF test is for women who have not had IVF before and are considering IVF for the first time. It takes information about her personal health profiles and our analytics can deliver the predicted probability of success for these women in their first cycle. The Unify Predict IVF test is for women considering a subsequent IVF cycle with their own eggs after at least one prior IVF treatment. The Unify Predict IVF is a test for women who have done IVF before and want to know what are their chances of success if they were to do IVF again with their own eggs. So these women might have had uh, IVF treatments that had failed or that might have been successful. And now they're thinking about doing another IVF treatment and want to know what are the chances of having a baby with their own eggs. Unify IVF prediction tests analyze a woman's reproductive health characteristics and compares that against data from tens of thousands of IVF cycles. The test will report chances of IVF success that are personalized. The test results are shown to be more than 1,000 times more accurate than age estimates. Using the same predictive technology, Unify has also developed a third test called Unify IVF Single which predicts the chance of having twins if two fresh embryos are placed back in the patient's uterus. Having twins is actually associated with higher complication rates for the mother and newborns. In fact, IVF experts try to help patients have a single baby at a time because the goal is to have a healthy baby. A twin pregnancy, it is a, a risk pregnancy. I mean, it is uh, perfectly described that because of the great prematurity that uh, is associated with twin pregnancies. There are my, my, many more complications during pregnancy and many more complications for the babies, uh, plus also an uh, increase in cost for all the whole procedure. So definitely, uh, twin pregnancy should be avoided after IVF. The Unify team has collaborated with leading IVF centers to conduct research and has reported its research results in several top peer-reviewed clinical or scientific journals. For more information, visit www.univfy.com or call 650-961-1307.